Mary Anning was born in 1799 in the seaside town of Lyme Regis, Dorset. Mary came from a family stricken by poverty. She and her father relied on selling fossils found on the beach to tourists as a second source of income. The tongue twister she sells seashells on the seashore was based off of little Mary. After her father's tragic death in 1811, Mary continued fossil hunting to aid her family. At the age of 12, Mary and her brother Joseph discovered a 5.2 metre long skeleton, the first of its kind. In 1830, another fossil was discovered by Mary Anning, this time a juvenile of a new species, Flesiosaurus. Then, in 1836, another ichthyosaur preserved so well that its last meal can still be seen inside its ribcage. Charles Darwin and his theory of evolution arose from the foundation of Anning's finding, a breakaway from the heavily religious society of the 1800s. Anning had been marginalised her whole life, both for her gender and her upbringing, and science was no different. The dirt poor woman with no education, obtaining such discoveries without the accreditation of a man, was simply impossible. In a society where men sovereign the scientific field, and the one law that forbid entry was a lack of a Y chromosome, Anning didn't stand a chance, and she was rejected from the geological society. However, Anning persevered. She continued to excavate the Dorset coast until her passing away of breast cancer in 1847. She taught herself paleontology, geology, anatomy and scientific illustrations. It was only in 2010 that the Royal Society named Mary Anning as one of the top 10 British women in history of science. Although her life was cut short, it is important that Mary Anning's legacy carries throughout our lifetimes. Mary Anning overcame the obstacles of her time to become the mother of paleontology.